Good morning to all of those tuning in. This is the Rebel Lemon, and today we're back to playing. Forgive me, Father, our Lovecraftian boomer shooter that I had a lot of fun playing in the last one. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what situations they throw us in next. So, with that being said, Let's get right back into it. God, you have to admit, the music for this game is just on point. Ooh, he's missing. Okay, so corn. Blue squid. Okay, so how do we want to tackle them? I guess I'll trust the revolver. You know, it's weird to me that the pistol is the only one that really doesn't get a Lovecraftian upgrade. At least so far. I guess that's not a Lovecraftian upgrade. It's kind of like a tech upgrade. So, I don't know how I feel. Um, hmm. But yeah. And stay down. Hell yeah, go fuck yourself. Oh, yeah, she said we needed the high ground. Hence, why we're up here, I guess. Don't panic. Slow and steady. Oh, great. I can see that the faster paced character might have some troubles. Come on, bit closer. Motherfucker. Psychic Reader, read by Verdum, Whispers Street 303, White Bell. I kind of hope that we get to see him. It would be really cool. Okay, I will not I will admit that almost got me. Oh. I'm very tempted to make that jump. You know, thankfully, some of the pathing kind of sucks. Okay, am I missing anything? Boom! Headshot. I believe that's a do. Nuke reference? That's not a good secret, I'm not gonna lie. Um, because this is direct pathing. And you can obviously see that one. I guess it's secret. But I would. F oh, I just missed it. Oh! You're actually supposed to jump down here. Oh, I totally missed this. I understand why that's a secret now, actually. You have just picked up the camera, another skill in your arsenal. Using it will make all enemies near you unable to move or attack at all for a while. 
This skill is also cost points gained through madness. Okay. So flash on that camera still seems to be working. That's an arm. Gotcha. Uh, the return of the lord. I call you my lord. Come and sit on a golden throne. I call you my lord. Rule individual, indivisible, and never leave me alone. Free me, my lord. Reward your faithful servant. Feed me, my lord. My prayers to the oceans are fervent. Choir, wake up from your uh, eternal sleep. O oh lord, O oh lord. Okay. Uh, okay, so longer stuns. I guess that's a longer stun. Hmm. Okay. Good to know that continues. Okay, so we leveled up. Hmm. See, the thing is, I might hold on to my upgrades at the moment. Yeah. I might do that, because I want the dual wielding. But... <sighs> yeah, I don't know. I guess I could get the bullets. Having more bullets wouldn't hurt. Yeah. Because that will prepare me for the dual wielding. Oh god. I hate this door. <laughs> me and you both. Okay, so there's two white doors. Ooh, okay. What is our other path? Because I have a feeling this might become an arena. You finished? Mmm, that depends. Who are you asking? Okay, that gets me the red key. There we go. Nice, nice. I knew they would spawn in here. I'm not gonna lie. The fucking mimic and the sound it makes is super fucking creepy. Gotcha. And I'm gonna guess the blue key is down here. Oh, um, that's a pleasant surprise. To be honest, I genuinely would have thought I would have been ambushed? Oh fuck you, they're gonna ambush me this time. Someone, or something, tries to mess with my head again. Uh. 
Wow, I didn't take any damage from that. That is genuinely impressive. The whole fucking abyssal shot that. Oh, motherfucker! Weird. Don't get me wrong, I really like... ...the trippy stuff. But it is hard on the eyes. Oh, that's super weird! Not against it, though. God, you gotta love this game. And all those little weird things it pulls. I feel it does the Lovecraftian horror actually really well. I don't think it's overkill if I put this on. Okay, I know how I said last time that the voice acting, I was getting used to it. But I'm gonna be honest. I think it could still use some work. Yeah, it's kind of dark with it. Go fuck yourself. can see just fine without it. Oh, fuck! But if I panic, I'll still get hit. Hey, hey my dude. Oh, shit! I actually kind of recognize this weapon. If I'm correct, I believe this was a Japanese machine gun. The Tragedy of the Titanic, Iceberg or Alcohol, Plants, Conspiracy. Okay dude, whatever. And we're do our proper save. Okay, so what do we have? So, balance for both ranged and damage. Rusted jam, the switch is in burst fire mode. So, repaired and overclocked, it's ready to take on anything you throw at it. No matter how tough, no matter how far away. So it becomes fully automatic and increased damage. So, if I was going down this route, I would definitely take this route with the Tommy gun. The other one is unstable gun shooting unstable explosives. Guts won't come out unless you know. Shoots unstable. Okay, but it uses explosive. Compressed explosive with better method of shooting them. Plus, rainbow colors on the gun <laughs> means better performance. So, double the speed, increased damage, smaller blast rate is. Um, those are both kind of good, though. Oh, I don't know what, uh... Like, I definitely would take this over this. But... 
That's an interesting... choice, actually. Whoa! I guess that's explosive ammo? Yeah, you know what? I think this is the time... ...where I save my... Upgrades. Then again, more ammo is always Everyone good. needs a bag. A bag full of lead. Okay, I will admit. I do really like this weapon. Okay, let's see. Okay, so this uses pistol ammo. Interesting. So that uses shoddy. That probably uses, what, 32? If that's 9mm, yeah, that's probably 32. I'm guessing. I'm not the biggest gun nut, to be honest. Yeah, go fuck yourself. I wish wounds didn't exist. You know what? Me and you both. I wonder what's up there. Hitting the container is fucking difficult. Oh. Okay. I have no strong feelings one way or the other. I'll admit it. Mimic got me good. Over here, alcohol. Ah, it gives me that madness. Got him. Okay, we're clearing this place with the shotgun. It is the only reasonable answer. That was a bit of a delay. Okay, places hopefully cleared out. Cross your fingers. Oh, story. Christmas present for the parish. Ma Mahani increases municipal grants. Isn't that typically a good thing? <laughs> I 
Hell yeah. Yeah, no, you can fuck yourself. Weird. Pop, there it goes. Hey, look at that. Yeah, I'm really glad I didn't wait up, jump down yet. And I actually was smart and looked around. I don't know how he's everywhere we go. Oh, hey, that's Cthulhu. But... In a way, I am happy. Seeing him brings a lot of pressure. I don't like where this is going. You know, uh, takes a lot of pressure off. It's really nice. Yeah, let's go. Hell yeah, let's go! Yeah. Uh, please don't switch back to that weapon. everybody's attention now yeah seems like I'm good that was not bad resurgence and deer antlers huh not against it not really for it but, I don't know, what do I know? Okay, what do we get? I got a 7. We missed a story. We got most of the bells. Not bad, I say. Not bad. That one was a bit longer than usual. Warning, protect your teeth from mold by flushing your mouth with seawater. Mint an elderberry brew every day. American Sea Society recommendation. I could actually see maybe seawater, but my issue there is there's so much like bacteria and other shit you don't want it in your mouth that's in seawater. I wouldn't recommend doing that. I think the general idea here is salt water is actually really good at killing things. But you actually need to do a brine. So that is actually the amount of salt in water to the capacity where salt will no longer dissolve in water. Mint doesn't really do anything other than taste. And elderberry brew I'm also assuming is taste. But if it has sugar in it, that's actually bad for your teeth. All volunteers for work on the Gulf of Maine fishing boats in spring slash summer season should apply to Captain Boncroft. Oh, I can get him. Where? Oh, it's up here. 
That's my bad. I thought he was behind me. Hey, I really don't want to be jumping in the water. Motherfucker, those bitch. Oh, and it explodes. Oh. Okay, I'm going dual wielding. I wish all guns could be dual wielded like that. Well, if you ask. What is it? Not Doom Guy, but his grandfather? Um. Uh. Ah, uh, the Wolfenstein guy. Hmm. Yeah, I think... Uh, the unfortunate thing is... I really, really like the dual wielding, but I don't know if I like it in this game. Uh, decide your own... Decide upon your fate on your own. I wish I could... Shooting speed is double, is that it? Oh, I only have one restart point. Uh, blue squid delivery ship under the flag of Cargo Navigation East Coast Company. Um, Pestville Seaport, December 11th. 1925, uh, 12 schools of cotton, 24 chests of corn, 15 of oats, um, marinated shrimp, 8 barrels, petroleum, 20 canisters. Oh, that's an item. You just picked up Vododal, an ability that will summon mysterious forces that hurt everything close to you. The skill also costs points. Game through madness. Yeah, okay. Um, every person monster to ever exist, summon a mysterious force that hurts everything around you, makes uh, bigger and deadlier. Stay away from this doll. But you need this to get that. That's interesting. Did someone drop this doll? It doesn't look like a normal toy, though. Does it? That's our boy. These noblemen have seen better days. Huh. Praise the night. Very convenient. I almost... Hmm. Man... pretty good about myself today. Maybe I should have went with the Luga. But I don't know. That decreased damage, I guess, kind of scared me off of it.
Cause don't get me wrong. I shouldn't have been drinking this. Wait, why? That's a secret weapon? Are you kidding me? Uh, what is it under? Um... I genuinely don't know. It might be one of those... Yeah, I can't scroll, so as soon as I use it up, I don't get any more of it. I didn't sign up for these working conditions. This is an awesome fucking weapon. It is a shame that this is very temporary. Oh well. Oh, this one's a long one. Okay, we headed out to the open sea from New Orleans at 7.46 a.m. with a ship full of cotton, rolls, petroleum, and Eatables. Oh, that would have been uh, what we just read earlier. Despite the harsh winter, the win weather forecast is optimistic. Wind force should not exceed 3 degrees on the Beaufort scale. A uh, blue squid arrived at the port in Northport, where we exchanged part of the goods according to the book of samples. And we are staying for the night. Barry Lewis, our navigator, suffers from fever. He's now isolated in his cabin. So that's two days from the first. And then four days later, we left behind New York City and are now heading towards our final destination, Boston. The medical condition of Barry Lewis has gone worse. His nightmare screams influence the mood of the rest of the crew. Our sailors do not show any signs of disease. I guess it's a good thing. Am I being ambushed? I fucking was. Bastards. Uh, shit, I only have 30 left. Not the most accurate, is it? Well, that actually got me through. A large chunk? Interesting. Oh, look at all this cool shit! Archaeological plans of the secret laboratory. A fragment of an oval key made of meteorite rock. Golden medallion with rune of a cult. That's super cool! Okay, so petroleum. Really? We really can't kill this guy? Okay. Um... We almost 100% this one. There was one secret we missed. Alright, one more level and we call it a day.
Lewis! Lewis! Boom. Headshot. Motherfucker, I missed that shot. You finished? Please tell me what. Iodine, drinking may a cause cute diarrhea or death. Yeah, don't fucking drink that. Oh, we're in the hospital we were working towards, right? Granted. Exactly remember why we're here, but what a mm. Yeah, I don't know what I want to get yet. Hmm. I guess I'll hold out a bit to like, unlock some weapons. Oh fuck, not lobotomy. Oh god, what a barbaric fucking surgery. I don't even know why it was ever done, you know? It's just super messed up. Fuck off. God damn it. Okay, my boy's up there. Oh. You know, the sounds they make really creep me out. Fuck. I get the shotgun bit overkill for anything that's not a paint. Why oh, so serious a Joker weapon? Oh fuck. Um yeah, I get it. I'm ready to slay some monsters. An overkill for anything not like one hitable. But it can be kinda nerve wracking to be switching back and forth. Uh, first, Wes Murphy, age 54, uh, 74 inches tall. I don't remember how, what, 12, 12, 24, 36, um, so that's 60, 72, so that's six foot two inches so if i am correct in my conversion that's almost two meters tall i think or maybe a bit taller than two meters somewhere around two meters 224 pounds um case description patient found in the state of catatonia 
um, my dratic pupils, muscle paralysis, lack of reaction to internal stimulus, treatment, intramuscular uh, administration of drugs, electric shock therapy, unlock consciousness and led to convulsions and incomprehensible babble, language unknown. Uh, weird thing is, with electric shock therapy, there actually is a use case for it. Just not in the way you think. It has... It started out really well, then went through a very barbaric period, got dropped, and now it's kind of back in a more humane way, if that makes sense. Morgan, age 17, uh, 70, 67 inches. That's still five feet tall. That's, I guess that's not too tall, but, huh, for a woman, that's a bit, five, seven is a bit tall, isn't it? Uh, nightmares, suicidal thought, uh, application of strong psychotropic drugs in case of lack of improvement after two weeks. There's a recommendation of a lobotomy. Of course there is. I'm gonna be honest, but... Don't you mess with me! Fuck lobotomy. Oh shit, I got cornered. Okay, I'm gonna head this way. Very convenient. Cause he's my boy. The issue is, I can still be accurate to some degree. But I am missing out. Let's fucking go. Shut the fuck up. My recommendation for being over cocky, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up, shut the fuck up. That's how you die and get everyone around you fucking killed. Oh, boats. Love crafting bullshit. Castle. Letters. Thank you, sir. Very cool. Agree. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Not dealing with that shit. Oh, I missed that. Just. 
Good to know. You bastard. See, I think a big part of the pistols is if I wasn't um, losing out on accuracy, I think I would like it a lot more. Okay, so there's a door up here. I think? No, it wasn't up here. I thought there was a door somewhere. Hmm. Maybe, yeah, maybe that was the door. Okay, no worries. Hey, my dude. My future self will thank me later. All right. Oh, let's do this. Oh, I gotta go. The flesh wall of doom. Go, 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 go! Oh, okay, I think I killed everyone. God damn! Okay, we got all the bills. We missed the only secret. But we got everything else. Damn, we're so close to 100%ing all the levels. It's, it's a fun game. I won't lie. I really love it. I really can't wait to play the sequel. Because they would have had to clean up the gameplay mechanics since then, right? And if they cleaned up the gameplay mechanics... That means it's not necessarily a funner game, but it's just a much cleaner game, you know? I think the biggest issue I might have is definitely the pistol so far. It's the least interesting upgrades and I'm kind of sad about how I don't really like the dual wheeling. Um, the other thing is, it's really tough to know what upgrade I'm going to like and what I'm not going to like. So, it's really difficult to know beforehand what to pick. I think the shotgun was the only thing I knew which one I wanted to pick. And it was mostly just because I wanted the Lovecraftian stuff. I think what would be nice is if every weapon went into like a very straight line Lovecraftian thing, which had a unique mechanic around it. And then, um, the other route was the more normal route, but then it spec into two. So, for example, the machine gun would spec into a um, Lovecraftian kind of weapon, and you get two upgrades for that. Uh, so the first and the second. And in the other path, you get a fixed weapon, which would be the first upgrade, and then 
but male it would spec either into the explosives or into like a f um, more fully automatic kind of thing. I don't know. As an example. Or if you spec into the explosives, like it just goes into the explosives, um, then from there... Actually, you know what? The Lovecraftian thing would be the explosives. You know? And then the other route um, would be like the weapons fixed. Like you got rid of the rest. But it... Um, but I guess from there, it would just be doing um, increased damage, but you still have the burst. But then you could spec into the automated uh, version, or I guess into a stronger burst version from there. I don't know, something like that. Um, I guess that's kind of what I would have liked to see. Um... But, you know, the spec tree right now is not bad at all. I just... I guess where I'm coming from, I want more of that Lovecraftian weapon. So, I, that's kind of what I want to see. So, I might genuinely respec once to get the other pistol, and then from there... I... will just spec into all the weird gun upgrades. So, that'd be the laser... Tommy gun, which I'm not gonna lie, I think I was gonna do anyways, because the Tommy gun really sucks. At least for me. It's a very close combat kind of thing, and I like to keep that distance. Because my shotgun and my pistol are kind of my close up go to kind of thing. Um, and then. I wouldn't mind doing the explosives for uh, that uh, machine gun. I guess my only worry with it is that I know it's going to do AoE, but the fact that it's doing smaller AoE radius has me thinking, is it going to be AoE normal, or is it going to be AoE plus explosion damage. The difference being the second will hurt me, the first won't. But yeah, that's just my um, thoughts so far. Anyways, I'm still super excited. I'm kind of sad though. <laughs> I suck at finding everything. I'm gonna have to come back and you know what? That's not a negative. I'm gonna have to come back and find everything. I'm gonna love doing that. So with that being said, my rant is now over. So, thank you for tuning into the frequency. This is the Rebel Lemon signing off. So, good night and sweet nightmares. <laughs>